Hello, everybody. Welcome to my next Watch Me Viz. So today I'm going to take on Workout Wednesday, week one of 2022. You might ask, why am I taking on week one? And um, because I hadn't done it yet. I guess that's the only reason. So uh, you should be able to ask questions in the chat, and I will have a look at them as you uh, as they come through. But uh, in the meantime, let's get started. So the first uh, first thing we're going to look at here is uh, what's the, the uh, data source here. Hang on one second. Okay, so here we go. So we're looking at uh, wildlife strikes, and this one is by Sean Miller. Um, so we're building this. It looks like a bar chart, a map, and a um, and, a, and an area chart. Uh, we've got the dashboard size. Bar chart shows the top 10 and then aggregates all others. Okay, so we should be able to do that through a set. Um, we're going to use a US map by total incidents, but it's a special shape file. So notice how Alaska and Hawaii are kind of down here. So that, um, uh, that's not, you know, we're, it's still all one shape file instead of, um, you know, sometimes you'll see people do it with three different sheets. Okay, we need to figure out how to display the null locations. So that's fine. And then create an area chart by year and then a bit of interactivity. Okay, so um, first off, let's connect to the data source. So I've gone ahead and, uh, and downloaded the data. Uh, I don't think we need some of these fields. So I'm gonna get rid of, I'm just gonna get rid of some of these fields while, um, uh, while we're in the um, kind of the data prep view here. So we've got the latitude and longitude. Um, I don't know if I can scroll across. Oh, wow, there's a lot of fields. Um, actually, it'd probably be easier just to, just to hide them within um, uh, once, once I bring the data in. And we now need to connect to the other data source. That is the spatial file. Um, and I think it is, uh, so it's this one, the state level. And if I bring that in, so that's county, state. And I now need to look at the data to make sure I understand what's what here. Um, so we're going to say these, I'm just going to search for state. So um, I don't know if it's initials or not. So I'll try the initials first, state FP update. OK, so let's click on this one here update and we get, oh, so we need to connect to name. Okay, so that's not right. So we're gonna have state name is going to connect to name. Okay, so let's try that. All right, so we've got that. And then we have the state names. Okay, some of them are null. So those are ones that we're not gonna have any from. Okay, oh, interesting, so we have some of the state names are null, but we have, we actually do have states for them. It's just the state name didn't get populated. Okay, so let's go back over here. And I'm thinking maybe we should bring in another file that has the state names and their abbreviations. Cause I wonder if, if there's, if I go back over here again, so we've got state name Okay, so HI is always Hawaii. So I probably could. Okay, I think I'm gonna end up creating a, um, a calculation that brings Hawaii over into the state name if that's the only one that has a lot of blanks. And then over in this data source, I can get rid of the, uh, the FIPS code. Okay, so let's, um, and I'm just gonna rename this. And we'll go ahead and go to the sheet. And what I'm going to do now is um, I think we're only looking at we're only looking at uh, birds were struck. Okay, so we don't need um, don't need most of these fields damage. I don't think we need latitude and longitude. We'll keep it anyway. So I'm going to hide these. Um, let's see latitude longitude. Uh, number of engines, number of passengers. So I don't think we need any of these measures. Okay, and then let me just open up the view. Oops, let me 
go back. Let's open it up this way. So this is looking at the number of incidents. Okay. So I'm just going to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to create a new calculated field. Oh, that's okay. I don't need to worry about that. All right. So I'm going to bring out um, name and then, okay, what else can I get rid of here? So we have the bird, the animal type and the state and that's it. Okay. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to clean up some of this. So we don't need these. Uh, engine type on route FAA. Oh, okay, let's see. Number of animals seen. This, uh, we don't need that. Number of animals struck. So let me make that a number, and that might be a measure we can use. Number of passengers, phase of flight, pilot warned. Um, size of bird, species. Okay, so let's hide these. And then um, let's bring in species. And what do these look like? Perching birds, for example. Let's look at perching birds. Um, uh, perching birds. Okay. So that, all right. So there must be a little bit more granular than that. It's a species type. Let's try that perching birds. Okay. So it's not species. It's species type. It looks like so unknown bird, unknown owls. I'm just randomly kind of checking some here. And then if I look at animal birds, mammals, I don't think we're using that one either. Okay. So we can get rid of that. We don't need the latitude and longitude and we don't need species. Again, I'm doing this just to try to clean up the data a bit. Okay, so now I'm down to one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, six fields, so, or seven fields, that cleans things up quite a bit. Okay, so um, if I bring out a state name and state, you see I've got these nulls here, so VI, and then we have name. Um, okay. So is Hawaii even listed in? Yes, yeah, so Hawaii is missing completely. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new calculated field. And I'm just going to, I'm going to call it state in uppercase. So I'm going to say if state equals Hawaii, then. Um, Hawaii. Okay, so let me take this off. And then the other ones were, um, and do a case. So case state, I'm gonna say when Hawaii, then that, uh, when PR, then Puerto Rico, when PI, then Virgin Islands, else state. Okay, so let's look at that now and see how that looks. Okay, Hawaii, Puerto Rico. Okay, great. So now I can, I'm going to edit that calculation and copy it because I'm going to use it in a, I'm going to go back to my data source and I'm going to change my relationship to be a calculated, uh, I'm going to create a calculation here instead. So let me just paste that in. And now I should see Hawaii on here as well. So let's get rid of state and state name. And if I bring in name, I should now see Hawaii. Okay, great. So I've taken care of that. Um, it's Puerto Rico. That would be a null. Okay. I think we're okay. Um, so first thing we want to do is bring up incidents by animal type. So let's bring in species type. Um, and we want to bring in the number of animals. So let's sort that. And then one, two, so let's see, unknown bird is 101,000. Okay, so 
species type. Did I bring out the wrong field? Is there another unknown here? How many is this? Five. Okay, my numbers aren't matching up. 49, 59, 106. So I've got some things dropping out somewhere. Hmm. Maybe it is number of animals struck. Maybe I should try this one instead. 101, 949, 101. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Um, count of FA wild strikes. Okay, so I'm going to call this one, um, I'm going to create a new calculated field and call it uh, bird strikes. Right, come on. And I'm going to just drag this in. And now if I put that in here instead and sort, there we go. Okay, so let's sort this by the field. Bird strikes descending, all right. And then we want to create a, we're gonna create a set here, um, use all. And I'm gonna do top 10 by bird strikes. Okay, and if we drag that onto color. Um, okay, so now we've got these in gray and those 10, that's good. And we need to, group together all the others. So let's create another calculated field and I'm gonna call this one, um, let's just call this one animal type. And I'm gonna say if uh, species type set, then I wanna bring in the species type, else on uh, no other and Okay, so let's bring that in instead and let's sort that descending and then let's just double check that that's okay. And then we need to bring the set onto the view as well so that it sorts them properly because it'll do in and then out. Okay, so I think that's all right. I'm gonna uh, uncheck show, uncheck include in tooltip, uncheck show header. Uh, let's hide the card. And we need to do some formatting while we're here. Okay, so let's format. We need to get rid of our column divider and get rid of our row dividers. And we do have um, grid lines, but we don't have a zero line. Okay, so, oh, okay, so they're calling this wildlife incident. So I'm just going to rename this. Rename. Okay, so I think that part is good there. And now I need to pick the colors. So I'm going to edit my colors and I'm going to, I wonder if, if it's a palette that already exists. Let's see. Probably not. Okay, so I'm just going to double click on the color and then click on the little. Okay, so that's that. And then it looks like they just left it at gray. Okay, so that's good. So we've got that done now. Let's hide the field labels and let's clean up our, oh, let's might as well give this a title, incidents by animal type. Incidents by animal type. And okay, so I think the font's slightly smaller, but I can fix that later. Okay, what else? To, okay, so let's clean up the tooltip. Unknown bird, we're struck. Okay, so tooltip. And then we're struck. Times. And what kind of font is it in? So it looks like. Okay, let's just unbold these two. Unbold. Okay. So it's good. Okay. It looks like they're using some kind of custom font here. So I'm going to um, inspect the page and see if I can figure out which font they're using. Okay. So is there a way? Um, okay. So if we look at this part, 
Come on. Right. Uh, let's try something else. Okay, so found, so they're using Montserrat. You can see here, using Montserrat. Okay, so I'm going to format the workbook, and the font we want to use is Montserrat. Okay. And now if I hover over, does that look good? Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then go back into my tooltip and bold. Okay, I don't have the bold font, but that's okay. All right, so we're good there. Uh, so now we've got Montserrat for our entire uh, workbook. Um, and now let's go to the map. Um, actually, I probably should save this. Um, let's save it to Workout Wednesday, 2022, week one, what's this called? Um, I think it's called Wildlife Strikes. Uh, wildlife Strikes. And save. Just doing that in case Tableau crashes on me. Okay, let me just look at your questions real quick. Um, okay. Um, Muhammad, I'm not quite sure why it's not clear. It should it should be pretty clear, but I will double check my my video settings. One second, video resolution. Yeah, it's set up as HD, so I'm not sure why you would have any problems there. Is anybody else having any issues with the quality of the um, the screenshot that I'm sharing or or my screen share? Um, let's see. So. Uh, Bazinor, where do I find the second data source? So it is in the, um, if you scroll down into the requirements, it's right here. So you can just click on this link and that'll take you to the file that you need, the spatial file. Okay, so let's do the map. And we're gonna call this, I'm just gonna rename this map. because, And we're gonna just double click on geometry. And the way they created this, see, it's got the, kind of the curvature, earth, but it's sort of centered around um, zero. But notice the background so is like somewhere in Africa. So I'm just going to um, get rid of the map layers. So I'm just going to wash that out and just uncheck everything. I don't really need to uncheck everything. And then I'm going to format it so I don't have a border around. So no row dividers and no column dividers. And we want to put the name onto detail so that we get all of our marks. So that looks good. Uh, and then I want to put the wildlife incidents onto color. And let's see. So Oregon, or sorry, Washington is 1149. Okay, why am I only getting? Oh, because I clicked on the birds. Let's click on it again. 3818, oh, what the heck, 38, okay, so that's good. So we just need to change the color palette. It looks like it's maybe red gold. Is it red gold? Let's try, it's, maybe it's not, it, maybe it's orange gold. Yeah, I think it's that one. Does it say in the requirements what color palette he used? Okay, um, okay. Da, da, da. okay, so there's nothing, nothing on there for the colors. Okay, so I, this looks like it's probably the right one. Let me flip back over here. I'm going to guess that's the right one. Is that orange at the bottom? Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, so now we can clean up the tooltip here. Um, so let's uh, tooltip um, add wildlife incidents.
Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, low quality. All right, I'm going to stop sharing my screen for a second and try resharing re it. So let me stop the screen share. And then, uh, okay, Pablo. Okay, thanks. Um, so let me let me just double check the settings here. Um, video HD. So that's but that's general. Okay. So I have it set up to HD at seven quality selection. It's disabled while live. Okay, so it should be okay. But let me just share again. Okay, it's interesting because it looks okay on my end when I look at the screen. Let me just try something here. Yeah, I see how it might be a bit blurry. I'm not sure what else I can do about it while I'm actually streaming, um, but it is set up to be on, on HD. So I'm not quite sure why why it looks a bit blurry. Is it? Hopefully it's good enough. Um, so my apologies for that. I, I did the same thing last week, so I'm not quite sure why it wouldn't be, why the quality wouldn't be as good this week. Okay, so we have, um, we've got these marks. Okay, so Hawaii is zero, but Hawaii is actually 4744. So the difference here is that um, they probably didn't join to the, or probably didn't do the calculated uh, relationship that I did to switch the HI to Hawaii. So I, I'm gonna leave mine the way it is, because I think it's more correct. And I think this is not the right color palette. Red, gold. Okay, I think that's more like it, yeah. Okay, so tool tip, and that should not be a bold. Okay. Okay. Okay, thanks for the for the tip there, Anthony. Um, yeah, it'll 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 post better, but I don't. I have really high speed internet here, so I'm surprised it's a bandwidth issue. But anyway, let's let's march on. Um, and notice when I hover over the map, I don't see the the controls like I see over here on the right. So I'm going to go to my map options and get rid of all of those because uh, I don't want the user to be able to um, uh, change any of that. And then unknown location. Okay, and then what happens if I... Okay, so, so I suspect that this is just... Okay, we'll come back to that last. Um, pinching birds incidents over time. Okay, so it just says incidents over time. All right, so let's do our um, incidents over time. And let's just do this. So this is just by year. So let's bring year out here and let's make it continuous. And then incidents here, and make it an area chart. And then the color is the same one we picked before. And it should not be see-through. So let's make it like that. Okay, wildlife incidents, year at the bottom. I'm going to edit my axis. I don't like, even though his has the title, I'm gonna get rid of the title. And then there are, okay, so we need to get rid of the axis rulers, get rid of the zero line. So there's no zero line, no axis rulers. And then uh, that looks like it for that. Okay, so now we can say there were blah, blah, blah in so many incidents in 1993. Okay, so tooltip. There were, let's just cut. Um, there were, what does it say? There were wildlife incidents. Okay, so if I look at 2000, 5873, 50, okay, great. So that's done. It looks a bit more pale than mine, but I can maybe fix that in the dashboard later. So if I go to my incidents, yeah, I see that color. I'm just gonna copy, I'm gonna copy that. 
looks like the color isn't matching up. Yep, ever so slightly different. Okay, there we go. Okay, and we'll come back to this one last because it looks like this is just going to um, be everything that's a null. So what I want to do then is probably uh, I want to filter this to just the nulls. And I'm going to put this on. For now, I'm just going to put it on text so we can see. So 31,400. Okay, so if he's got zero in Hawaii. Um, I have 4744 in Hawaii. So this is the difference between the two. Okay, that's fine. Um, so what I'm going to do, so this needs to be some kind of square or something. So I'm going to, uh, what's the easiest way to do this? Um, I probably could just make it a, um, what's the easiest way for me to do this? Um, let me just do this, put it, make this in, no, that's not what I want. I'll just make this an average of one and make it, um, Okay, let's pick the color. And let's make this as big as it'll go. And then I'm going to set my axis to go from zero to one. That fills up, I'm probably overcooking this, but that's okay. Um, so I'm gonna move my field to the, okay, let's get rid of the header. And then I'm going to format the borders to make sure there's no borders, no grid lines, no and that, no axis rulers, no axis ticks. Okay, so that's all gone. And then I just want to have the word unknown location. Okay. I'm just going to put that on to label. And that's centered. And then, okay, so that's good. All right, so we can, let's just call this uh, unknown. And I think that's everything. Okay, so let's create a new, oh, I better save as well. Um, so we need to go back to the requirements. So we're looking at 1200 by 900. And we're gonna kill the phone. And then uh, let's see, so how are we gonna lay this out? So we've got two across, one down. Okay, so uh, let's do it as I start with a vertical. And let's put some padding inside. All right, and then we're gonna have our title in there. So um, I'm just going to call this uh, um, FAA Wildlife Strikes. Looks like a nice big font. Yeah, probably something like that. That's good enough. Um, and then we're going to have, uh, let me put another text box. Actually, I can just bring in the uh, incidents over time. Okay, so that looks good. I need to format the titles because the font is a bit, uh, that's wrong, the tooltip worksheet titles. So the font needs to be, yeah, that looks better. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and put, I'm gonna show the caption for this because then I can put my all of my like um, credits and all that down there. So we want to say week one challenge by Sean Miller, um, hipster fist ninja at hipster is ninja. Okay, oops. What the heck? So, uh, 
function by and then so the data source is um, Okay, so we go. So let me move that down, and I'm going to make it eight, and I'm going to make it a lighter font. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's there, and now I need to put these two side by side. So I'm going to put a horizontal container in there, that, and that. And what kind of interactivity? If I click on a mark here, does that change anything? Okay, so the only interactivity, click on this interactivity, clicking on a state or species type will filter the dashboard. The same click will also update the titles for the bar charts and area charts. Okay, I can come back to that. Okay, so we want to filter, filter. So if I click on a state, then in this view, my bar chart, I gotta make sure that this is set to context. So that uh, the top 10, so the reason I want to put that in context is because I want the state to filter first and then give me the top 10. So a context filter gets applied before a um, uh, before the top 10 filter. So I'm going to hide that. And um, this goes way down. Is it that small? Let me see. Um, okay, so slightly bigger. Okay, I'll leave it like that because I like how the word incidents is showing where his, it's cut off a bit. So I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, and then we have that and then, but that should be a lot more narrow. So let's maybe make this one 300. Let's see. It's a bit too narrow. How's so that? Maybe a little bit less. Actually, what I could do is I could probably just guess here by going something like that. So it's four. I'm going to guess it's 400. Okay, so then we've got the map there, so that looks good. And then this only goes, so if I filter, does my axis change? Okay, so it goes, so if I click on California, two, four, six, eight, and if I click on Arizona, okay, and then if I click off, it goes 0k, 50k, 100k. Right, okay, so let's edit the width ever so slightly. There we go. Okay, I think that's better. Yeah, so now this says the right, the right amount there. Okay, so, but notice we now have this uh, R color legend is in the background. So I need to go here to the this stupid tiled thing that Tableau puts in here and I'm going to float that. And then I'm going to kill that from the dashboard. Okay, so um, let's see. So this is, it looks like it goes kind of, it's somewhere like down here. And then this should be in layout, multiple rows. And then it goes all the way over to like Wisconsin. Okay, so that should be pretty good. Let's move it down a bit. And then the font on this is smaller. So let's format my legend and let's make the whole thing eight point. Yeah, 
So now that matches that. That's good. Okay. And then, so we're going to hide that indicator. And now we need to put this unknown location thingy on here. Um, so what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to just float it in here. Mm -hmm. And where does this go? Uh, kind of below Florida. Okay, but it's not doing it on multiple rows. Okay, so I need to go back to this sheet. And if I just make this a square, okay, that doesn't work. Why is that not? Oh wait, let me make it a square again. Oh. Okay, but it's not, okay, there we go. So, right, so what's going on now is it's not making the square big enough. So let me click on size. Let's see how big we can make that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so unknown location. So let's, so this is going to be 115 wide by 115 by 42. Okay, so layout width is 115, 42. Okay, and this, the N is below. Okay, so I think that's pretty close to where it needs to be. So that looks good. And now when I hover over, it should say on the location had blah, blah, blah. Okay, so tooltip, unknown location, add. What do you want? What? What is it? Oh. Okay. Nope, too much space in there. Labels. So, oops. Um tip that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Okay, so I think that's good. Um, don't forget to save. Okay, so now if I click on that Texas, that should be zero. Um, okay, so we don't want this to be filtered. Okay, so I need to go back to my dashboard actions and on my map filter. So I'm going to rename this as well, map filter. I don't want it to update the unknown sheet. Okay. So if I click on Texas, that shouldn't change. Okay, so, but if I click on a bar, or let me try a smaller one like mammals. Then this says, let me get rid of Texas. Oh, went up in there. I broke it. So, okay, so let's click on mammals. And this should now say 946 so mammals. Okay, good, so that's good. Again, the numbers don't match because I've corrected Hawaii in the in the relationship. All right, um, what else here? So we've got a bit more space between these. So let me add a bit of buffer here on the um, outside. So let's maybe put another 20 at the bottom. 
Okay, I think that's good. And then, okay, so I think that's good. What else do I need to do? Oh, there were a couple other requirements here. So um, credit bar chart, so I've done that. US map, make sure to figure, okay, we've done null, current area chart by year, interactivity, click on a state and species, we'll filter the dashboard, so that's done. I'm gonna go back into my action though, and I'm gonna edit this one and call it my bar chart filter. Okay, the same clicks will also update the titles for the bar and area charts. Okay, so if I click that, oh wait, that's mine. Um, if I click a bar, it then passes the uh, incident or the, the mammal type to the word there. Okay, I'm gonna do that with a parameter action. So I'm going to create a parameter i call it um, wildlife parameter. And it's going to be a string. And it's going to be a, it doesn't really matter what gets put in there. I'm just gonna leave it blank initially. Okay, and then worksheet actions. I'm just gonna make sure this works. So I'm gonna add a parameter action and I'm gonna call this one update wildlife parameter. The source is my wildlife parameter. And where the heck did that other parameter come from? Um, animal type. And when they reset, we want to set it to blank because we want the title to reset. So if I click on unknown bird, there we go. So, and then this doesn't say anything. So just this one down here. Um, so I'm going to insert my parameter. Okay, so now if I click on perching birds, this should change to perching birds down the bottom. And if I click off of it, that goes blank. And then it should just say incidents over time. Okay, so that works. And then um, if I click on California, okay, so this, these both say in California. Okay, so we want to go to this sheet and we're gonna create a parameter for this sheet to bring back the state. So let me delete this one, I don't know where that one came from. So state parameter, and it's gonna be a string. We're gonna initially set it to blank and then we're going to set up a worksheet action, uh, change parameter, update state parameter. To state parameter, the field is name and set to blank. Okay, and then I'm going to create a, because it says in uh, that has it says in the state. Um, okay, okay, original legend starts from zero because the Hawaii count. Um, yeah, I fixed mine. I can well, I can force it to start at zero. Okay, so let's say um, uh, state title text. And I'm gonna say, if the parameter equals blank, then blank. Else I wanna put uh, a space in space uh, plus state parameter. And all right, and then on these sheets, I'm gonna to need to put this on detail so that, okay, so there we go. Mm -hmm. On detail, just gonna get rid of the borders. Um, okay, so your question was, okay, I can start this at zero. Advanced start zero. Okay, yeah, my numbers are gonna be slightly different because I fixed Hawaii. Um, okay, and then on this, we wanna set at the end, we wanna insert our state title text. And then this one, we want to insert our state title text. Okay, so let me now go to this worksheet action, my update, and I wanna change this to be a dashboard action. 
and it's only going to apply on the map. Source field is name. Okay, and then this one, this one, so update state parameter. No, I think I did the wrong one. Name, okay. So the, this one should be the bar chart, uh, which is incidents by animal type. On life source is animal type. Okay, so let's see if that works now. So if I click pigeon, it should say pigeon grouse incidents over time. Pigeon grouse. Okay, and if I click on California, it goes blank. Click on California first, and then pigeon grouse, and we get something like that. And I think I'm done. Okay. I'm just going to move this up a bit so we have a bit more space. All right, so let me just go back and look at the requirements one last time. So clicking on the state, updates the titles for the bar chart and area chart, return to normal when they're selected. Okay, I think that's it. Um, let me just look one more time. So let's add a bit of space around this one. Let's add a bit of panning at the bottom. And great. I don't see any questions on the, yeah, I don't see any questions in the chat. So I assume that we're okay. Pretty quick one today, actually, not too bad. Um, yeah, thanks for everybody for attending and I, I hope you learned something. And uh, yeah, well, I'll schedule another one of these soon. Thanks for attending, bye.